Hey guys, Bluff Monkey back again for another series of tech tips with Sonic Academy. Um, strictly speaking, this is not going to be tech tips. What I want to talk about today is my top 10 favorite features uh, about Ableton Live. Now, I use the word features because it's not just a list of the things that are included with Ableton Live. Um, a couple of them, at least, are probably going to be about the way that Ableton Live works and or how it's designed. So let's get stuck straight in. Right, the first thing I want to look at is something called LFO. Yeah, LFO. My brain wants to say LFO tool, but that's not what we're looking at. And incidentally, somebody's asked me, a couple of people have asked me on Facebook actually, why I wear this blue hoodie all the time? Um, am I a skanky tramp? And the answer is no. Um, I, I have two or three of these and it's really for continuity because I have my lighting and my camera set up in a certain way. If I wear the same hoodie all the time, I don't need to fiddle with anything. I just switch it on, click record and I can go. That's why. It's because I'm lazy, not because I'm a tramp. Okay, thought I'd want to clear that up. So anyway, I'm still running Ableton Live um, 10. Yeah, I'm trialing 11. Uh, I think I'm going to plump for 11 eventually, but I'm still running 10 at the moment. But the, the features between the two are more or less the same. So in Ableton Live 10, LFO can be found in the Max for Live devices under audio, Max Audio Effects. And this may be one of the reasons why some of you at least don't know it exists because it's kind of hidden away in these Max for Live um, subfolders. So I'm gonna pull LFO down here. Now in Ableton Live 11, it is, it's now part of the audio effects. So it's much easier to find. I think it's under modulators, probably is under modulators. So LFO tool, LFO, stop saying LFO tool, it's not LFO tool. LFO is simply that, it's just a standalone LFO. And um, one of the reasons it's useful is that it can be applied to virtually anything inside Ableton Live. So I have, let me just switch this off for a second. I have chosen a preset in Anna 2 called Bodzy Arp 2, which is one of my favorites. I like this preset. I didn't make it, unfortunately. Uh, so let's just start this. Turn off the delay as well. So the preset itself did have a delay included, but I've switched that off and used Ableton Delay instead just to show you how the LFO works. So it's a nice Stefan Bodzin style. And what I want to do is I want to use the standalone LFO to modulate, I wanted to say LFO tool again, to modulate the filter cutoff in Anna 2. Now obviously you can use an LFO inside Anna 2, um, but for demonstration purposes we will not. So how do we assign this? Well, first of all, we need to come down to this little arrow here on the Anna 2 wrapper, click configure, click the filter cutoff, and then we have a parameter to modulate. Then I'm gonna come over to LFO and click map, and then click this filter frequency button. And you can see that this LFO is now sweeping this parameter is disabled because it's controlled by a Max device. Yeah, so this um, LFO is now sweeping this filter frequency. And as it says, you can't change this now because LFO is doing something to it. You can in the user interface here, but not over here. So LFO is now sweeping this. Now we've got control over the LFO rate. We can speed it up. Um, we can sync this the rate to hertz or just you know basically free or sync to door that's going to be tempo based one third one quarter notes etc etc keep it on hertz we've got depth which is basically an lfo amplitude you can see that depth changing up and down as i change the depth i went when, this isn't going to be a series of instructional videos about how to use each part of the favorite sections of ableton live it's just kind of showing you what they are and how i use them uh, we can offset the LFO, we can change the phase, we can hold it. Uh, R is re-trigger. But what we can also do, don't need the offset, is if we come up to this box here, I can actually alter the minimum and maximum values of the LFO. 
So let me just speed up a bit so we can see. So have a look at this section here. Let me put the depth back up to 100%. So at the moment, we're getting this full sweep left and right from 20 up to 20,000 hertz. So what I can do is I can set the minimum value to say 25%. So it only comes down to here then. And the maximum value to, should we say 75? So you can see the sweep it's uh, modulating is much smaller. So let's just turn the rate down a bit. That's probably going to sound a little bit better now. Possibly still too high. A bit too fast. So we'll keep it at something like that. But what I can also do is I can map another parameter in another plugin. So if I click map again, um, I'm going to come over to this, the, the filter on the delay as well. So I'm not going to click here because this controls two parameters. I'm going to click on the filter itself here. So now you can see it's also controlling the de delay filter too. So the only issue with this, doing it this way, is that you can see the filter frequency on Anna 2 and the filter on the delay plugin. They're moving at exactly the same time, exactly the same rate, and in exactly the same direction. I'm not sure... Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's a way you can actually reverse this modulation, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you could do the offset and you could change the phase, but then they would still both be affected. So effectively, they'd still be doing the same thing. Um, it, it would be nice if there was another little tab here called reverse, where instead of doing the same thing at the same time, they could do that, but you can't. So one way around that is to simply add another LFO. So if I add another LFO, uh, let's alter the... LFO shape here to triangle. So this second LFO is now a triangle. If we go into map and then change the filter frequency or assign the filter frequency. I'll slow this down a bit more. So you can see this movement here, this modulation here on the Anna 2 filter frequency is now different to the filter frequency modulation on the delay. So that's the workaround is just to use another instance of LFO. So we're getting a lot more movement now between the two filter cuts off. So obviously, as I said, you can modulate virtually anything. There's very few things that I've found that you can't modulate with LFO. Um, so that's the first feature I wanted to look at. It's something I use a lot. Um, and simply because if you're not using 11 yet, Ableton Live 11, and you're still on 9 or 10, uh, you might not even know it's there because of where it's hidden. So I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace!